Hello everyone, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level 2. We are going to learn some easy words today. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are move, much, must, name, need. Our first word is move. We use this word to say that something that was in one place is going to another place. For example, I move a heavy bag. Or, Jenny will move to Alaska next month. Next, we have much. This is similar to the word many, but we use much for things that we do not count. For example, there is so much water. Or, don't eat too much sugar. Okay? Next, we have must. We use must to say that it is very important that someone do something. For example, I must go to bed. Or, we must eat healthy food. That's true. Okay. Next, we have name. You have a name and I have a name. Everyone has a name, and even some animals, especially pets, have names. A name is the word that you call someone. For example, my name is Fred. Well, example. <laughs> Next, my doggy's name is Rover. Okay? Okay, finally, we have need. We use need to say that it is very important that we have something. For example, I need a new bike. Or, do you need anything? Okay, those are our words for today. Let's move on to practice and repeat. So, repeat after me. Are you ready? Let's begin. Move. I move a heavy bag. Okay, good. Much. There is so much water. Okay, good. Must. I must go to bed. Okay, good. Name. My name is Fred. All right. Finally, need. I need a new bike. Okay, very good. Now it's time for review. Let's read some sentences together. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, I beep a heavy bag. Hmm, what word can we use? Here are our study words. Move. Much. Must. Name. Need. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use move. I move a heavy bag. All right, next. My beep is Fred. Hmm. Ah, my name is Fred. Good. Next. There is so beep water. Hmm. Ah, there is so much water. All right, good. Next. I beep a new bike. Hmm. I need a new bike. Last one. I beep go to bed. Hmm. Ah, I must go to bed. Okay, good job. Sight word story. 
Okay, now it's time for our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. I need a new bike. My old bike is broken. I have to pick it up to move it. A new bike costs too much money. I must do chores to get money from my parents. Then they help me buy a new bike. It's a cool red bike. I will name it Speedy. Okay, interesting story. Have fun on the new bike, okay? So that's all for today. That's our lesson. Thanks for studying with me. See you next time. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Two. We are going to learn some easy words today. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Today's words are new, off, old, only, our. First, we have new. New is used to say that something was made or born a short time ago. For example, I bought new clothes, or let's play a new game. Next, we have off. Off is the opposite of on. If an electric thing is off, it is not working. If someone or something is off another thing, it means they are no longer on it. For example, the monkey turns off the light, or he got off the pony. Okay. Next, we have old. We use old to say that something was made or born a long time ago. It's the opposite of new. For example, the old man is my grandfather, or this milk is old. Okay. The word only means that there is just one of something. For example, I have only one cat, or we only sing one song. Finally, we have our. We use our to describe things that belong to us. For example, we love our pets, or our favorite food is spaghetti. Okay, those are our words for today. Okay, now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. New. I bought new clothes. Good. Off. The monkey turns off the light. Old. The old man is my grandfather. Okay, good. Only. I have only one cat. Okay, good. Our. We love our pets. Okay. Okay, good job. Now it's time for review. Let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, the beep is my grandfather. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. New, off, old, only, our. So which one can we use? Yes, we can use old. The old man is my grandfather. 
Next, we love beep pets. Hmm. Ah, we love our pets. Good. Next, I bought beep clothes. Hmm. Ah, I bought new clothes. Okay, good. Next one. I have beep one cat. Hmm. Aha.、Uh-huh. I have only one cat. Good. Last one. The monkey turns beep the light. Hmm. Ah.、Uh, the monkey turns off the light. Okay. Good job, everybody. Sight word story. Now we have our sight word story. So let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. Our old house was in the city. Our new house is in the country. Our house is the only one on our street. Every day I get on a bus to go to school. In the afternoon. I get off the bus at our house. Okay, that's our story for today, and that is our lesson for today. Thank you for studying with me. See you next time. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Two. We are going to learn some easy words today. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are over, page, picture, place, play. First, we have over. This word is used to say that something is or is going above something. For example, the boy jumps over the fence, or a lamp hangs over my bed. Next, we have page. Books have many pages. If you are reading a book now, you are looking at one page of that book. For example, open your book to page fifteen, or turn to the next page. Next, we have picture. We use the word picture to talk about a drawing, a painting, or a photograph. Of something, we can see people, places, and things in a picture. For example, the cat sees a picture, or Starry Night is a very famous picture. Next, we have place. We use the word place to talk about an area. For example, this is my favorite place. Or, there is a place to put your bags over there. Finally, we have play. We know this word. We use this word to say that we are doing something fun, either alone or with friends. For example, we like to play baseball. Or, do you play video games? Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Ready? Let's go. Over. The boy jumps over the fence. Good. Page. Open your book to page fifteen. Good. Picture. The cat sees a picture. Good.
place. This is my favorite place. Okay, good. Last one. Play. We like to play baseball. All right. Good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. Let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, open your book to beep 15. Hmm, what word can we use? Here are our study words. Over, page, picture, place, play. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use page. Open your book to page 15. Good. Next. We like to beep baseball. Hmm. We like to play baseball. Good. The boy jumps beep the fence. Hmm. Aha. The boy jumps over the fence. Good. Next. This is my favorite beep. Hmm. Ah, this is my favorite place. Good. Last one. The cat sees a beep. Hmm. Ah, the cat sees a picture. Okay, very good job. Sight word story. Next, we have our sight word story. So, let's read the sight word story together. You ready? Let's begin. I have a big storybook. It has many wonderful pictures. On this page, there is a picture of a cow jumping over the moon. Children play a game on the ground. It's so funny. I keep this book in a special place on my shelf. Okay, that's our story for today. Thanks for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level 2. We are going to learn some easy words today. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are point, put, read, write, same. First, we have point. When you point, you use your finger to get other people to look at something. For example, I point at a star. Or, it's rude to point at other people. So, be careful. Okay. We use put to say that we place an object in a certain area. For example, I put a teddy bear in the box, or put your toys away. Next, we have read. This word means that we look at and understand words that are on a page or a computer screen. For example, I read a picture book, or can you read Chinese? Next, we have write. This word is used to describe where something is, using your body. Things are on the right, on the left, in front of you, or behind you. So, for example, he raises his right hand, or walk on the right side of the road. Okay. Finally, we use same to say that two or more 
things are very similar. For example, they look the same. Or, I have the same backpack as you. Wow. Okay. Okay, so those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So, let's practice. Repeat after me. Point. I point at a star. Good. Put. I put a teddy bear in the box. Good. Read. I read a picture book. Okay, very good. Write. He raises his right hand. Okay, good. Same. They look the same. All right, very good job, everybody. Now it's time for review. So let's read some sentences together. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, I beep a teddy bear in the box. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Point, put, read, write, same. So which one can we use? Yes, we can use put. I put a teddy bear in the box. Good. Next one. He raises his beep hand. Ah, he raises his right hand. Next one. I beep at a star. Aha, hmm. uh -huh. I point at a star. Good. Next, they look the beep. Hmm. Ah, they look the same. Good. Next, I beep a picture book. Hmm. Ah, I read a picture book. Okay, very good. Sight word story. Okay, now it's time for our sight word story. So, let's read the sight word story together. Are you ready? Let's begin. What are those? I ask at a candy store. I raise my right hand to point. Oh, says the shopkeeper. Can you read the sign? It says, sour worms, I say. Yes, they are the same as gummy bears, but they are very sour, he says. Please put some in a bag, I say. Okay, so he'll eat those later. Okay, great. That's our story for today. And that is our lesson for today. Thank you for studying with me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Welcome to WorldCom EduSight Words Level 2. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are say, sentence, set, should, show. Let's start with say. We use say to say that we use our mouth to make words. For example, I say hello to the cat. Or, 
What did you say to the teacher? Next, we have sentence. A sentence is a complete thought that we write down. For example, she writes a sentence, or I wrote a very long sentence. Next, we have set. When you set something, you make it ready. For example, he set his alarm clock. Or, my phone is set on silent mode. The next word is should. We use the word should to say that it is a good idea to do something or that other people expect you to do something. For example, you should clean up the toys or what should we do now? Our last word is show. When you show something to someone, you allow them to see it. For example, I show a picture, or please show me your pet. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Ready? Let's go. Say, I say hello to the cat. Good. Sentence. She writes a sentence. Okay, good. Set. He set his alarm clock. Okay, good. Should. You should clean up the toys. Okay, last one. Show. I show a picture. All right, very good job. Now let's review. Let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, you beep clean up the toys. Hmm, what word can we use? Well, here are our study words. Say, sentence, set, should, show. Which one can we use? Yes, we can use should. You should clean up the toys. All right, good. Next one. He beep his alarm clock. Hmm. Ah, he set his alarm clock. Okay. Next one. I beep hello to the cat. Hmm. Ah, I say hello to the cat. All right. Next. I beep a picture. Hmm. Ah, I show a picture. Okay. Last one. She writes a beep. Hmm. Ah, she writes a sentence. Okay, good job, everybody. Sight Word Story. Now it's time for the Sight Word Story. Are you ready? Let's read it together. What did the teacher say? She said, let's have a race. Who can write a sentence first? You should use all of these words. Are you set? Go! June says, 
I did it. Show us, we yell. Okay, lots of energy in that story. That's our lesson for today. Thanks for studying with me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.